Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are going to be doing a build video today. This is the very first build uh, through the playthrough, through the Let's Play. Uh, so I'm going to be showing it. Uh, this is a level 99 build. Um, I could just get it to level 100, but I don't... I Actually, I can tell you where the extra to 100 will be. It'll be into Vitality uh, to get that up to 16, because that's when I'm going to start working on leveling up. I believe the meta for PvP is 100 to 120. I don't PvP, and I won't be PvPing on this character, but that's the meta. But I'll probably stop at like 120, but the rest of the points are probably going into Vitality, or maybe a few into Dex and Strength. But other than that, that's probably it. Maybe Faith or Int, so I can put buffs on weapons. Uh, but in this game, it's much harder to level up. Souls are a lot higher. It's a lot higher of a cost to level up uh, near level 100 i think it's like at level 70 or 80 you start having to pay 50k souls per level up uh but let's get into the actual build of it all so let's go no i don't want inventory i want equipment okay so i've been using the onikiri and ubadachi blades uh not because of the special attack which is the coolest special attack that i've seen i love this attack it reminds me of uh hoshimitsu from soul Calibur. um I believe he had an attack similar to this, one of his special combos, but that's not really why, because the attack really sucks. If you watch my Let's Play, I killed one guy with it, and it was just, it's just some garbage uh, to actually get hits and stuff, because people can just stun you out of the air when you go up and you're, when you hold up there like that, they can just stun you out of the air, and then the attack is useless, but it's a fun attack. Uh, but what I really like is the, uh, the R1 because you can t you tend just how they swing. It's really hard to actually miss if you are one. I also like the R2, the charge, and then into that. I like with my katanas the poke first, and then the, the wide slash. Uh, so this is what um, I like. But if you don't want to use the two swords, uh, another option, katana-wise, because this is a dex-ish build. It's not really 100% dex, but also what is pretty good Okay, where is my sword? There it is. The hell? I've been having issues with that, where I'll change armor and I'll put armor on and it won't show up. It's just, like, not there. But the Black Blade is the one I'm using, or I had used all the way through the game until I got the Onikiri and Ubadachi. Uh, you could also use the Chaos Blade, the Uchi Katana, or the uh, Merchant over here sells the Washing Pull. Whichever one you really like. Um, I like the Dark Blade because it has the bleed damage uh, on it. Uh, the Chaos Blade is also not a bad option. Uh, all of their stances should be the hold, yeah. Um, I believe the Uchi Katana, or the Washing Pull is the longest, then it goes Uchi, Chaos, Black Blade, I think. Um, but, the, but the range on the Black Blade, I never actually had any issues with it. Uh, it, it is shorter, but I never had any issues, like, missing attacks. Another option that you could go with is the Dancer's Twin Swords. Uh, they kind of have... They're really good for PvE. They're not really good for PvP, uh, because of the wind-up for the first R1, where you gotta... where you kind of draw them back and you spin into the attack. It's really hard to get the first hit off that way if you're in a... You know, when you're close, because you got to be close, obviously, to hit with these. Um, the R1 is hard to get attacks in against. Even even PvE, uh, it is kind of hard to get in attacks against some enemies that have quick strike weapons. Uh, it makes it difficult. The R1 one-handed, you know, is good. It's just a simple um, straight sword swing, I think. That's straight sword, right? Uh, and then the... The weapon art, it's all right. I don't really, it's not anything special. Let me get my, I feel like it does a little bit more if you have your focus points. No, it, ah, it does, it does a little bit more. Um, it's not really that great. It's kind of, it's more aesthetically pleasing than anything. It's not really good for combat. It's just aesthetically pleasing to use it. Uh, but those are another option. Uh, obviously, you, with uh, this, you could use straight swords, honoring straight sword if you want to invest some points into... Where is my sword? Like, why does it do this? There we go. Honoring straight sword is a good choice also. Um, it, it has the good... It has a good weapon art. Uh, both the R1 and R2 buttons. Uh, 
are, are good attacks, so it's another option. You have to put some points in the luck. It's actually the weapon speedrunners are using, uh, and it's actually a pretty good weapon. Uh, I still need to kind of test it out, see if I like it uh, a little bit more than I already already do, but it's an option as well as you don't really want any great swords uh, with a dex build. Uh, the daggers, the brigand twin daggers aren't a bad option. Rapiers, I personally like the Crystal Sage's rapier. It's not great, but it uses very little stamina, uh, stamina, so you can get a lot of hits in with it. It's another good weapon for a dex quick strike build. Um, another good one that I found, this isn't for... You could use it in this build, but uh, I really like the move set on this axe. It's it's a it's kind of a heavy axe, but it um, it has some quick it has quick R ones, but it also gives you the versatility of having a strong attack, uh, like a really strong attack. So that's the reason I like this uh, axe. Another option for you are the Drang Twin Spears. These are more fun than anything, but they actually do have some. They do have some use. Um, I do like the when you have two, both of them out. The attack is pretty good. You got to keep your camera up. I believe that's what affects where they poke, because otherwise they like poke into the ground. Like, see, that's like way into the ground. You gotta, you gotta keep your your camera up for that. But still, my opinion is still using the. Uh, uh, but, uh, that Onikiri and Ubadachi. The Pontiff Curve Sword is an interesting one uh, that you can use. I like the move set on it. I just, I don't know, I just haven't used it really. And that's a nice attack. I like that attack. It's another one of those aesthetically pleasing attacks. Uh, it's not the greatest uh, for combat, but it's another generally um, aesthetically pleasing with the ice that comes off of the blade when you swing it. Uh, but obviously that the butcher's knife is a good weapon especially since it the sharpen ability you get health back when you hit enemies uh, it's a weapon that when i uh, make a new character i'll probably give it a good solid try uh, you can actually get it pretty early by running to it but that's pretty much the weapons that i like for this let me put my own carry back on uh the talisman i use i just have a talisman on because i can have heal on I can actually get a double, like a two heals off with it, uh, and it saves me some Estus flasks. Um, obviously, it's really hard to do that in a boss fight. You can obviously pump more into Faith uh, to be able to use that more effectively, as well as um, use the better heal spells. But that's what I have for now. Um, I'll probably try to level or move it up in the future. I'll level up my faith and all of that stuff uh next is the shield of one i like the shield of one because it gives you more souls it's kind of lightweight five and a half pounds isn't lightweight but it's light uh and it has 100 percent physical protection and the good thing about this sword is don't hit her it or the shield is it doesn't have a weapon art um and it doesn't parry so the weapon, the skill for it is weapon skill, so equipping the shield in the left hand allows one to perform the skill of the right hand weapon. So like this, you can come like out into the Onikiri, uh, and Ubadachi strike, or what it's better with is like the, the Black Blade here, because you can go like straight into that. Usually if you're one handing, like this won't be as effective once people f figure out more, but I've had it work a couple of times in PvP where you go into it really quickly like you'll have it like this and then you can quickly go into it and get a strike off um, because they aren't expecting you to be able to do the weapon art with a shield in your other hand uh, so you can catch some players off guard and it also is useful in in fighting in PvE not as useful but it is useful uh, that's why I like it uh, that shield uh, I usually have the uh, light crossbow on but I'm actually working on I want to get my vitality up and then I want to use the dark moon longbow I just like the way it looks it's one of the cooler looking uh, weapons in the game and I just really like it and I'm you know just waiting on being able to use it right now oh I actually can use it now all right so I can have it on I thought I couldn't have it on because my vitality was too low but I guess I proved myself wrong. It reminds me, I used to play an MMO on, uh, what, it's actually still around, um, but it's Conquer Online, and this bow reminds me of that, because I was always an archer in that game, and 
I love this. Like, the, the weapon arts for these. Actually, this weapon art isn't as good, but... I do like the bow weapon art. What is this weapon art specific? Dark Moon Arrow. Infuse a readied arrow with Dark Moon Essence, granting it magic damage and the ability to pierce shields. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, but this reminds me of that game, so I like the shield. Um, moving on, let me put my weapons back on, to the armor. We're using full Dancer's armor, uh, and the Dancer's armor is actually pretty good, and it's also pretty light, so I'm... I like it, and I love the veil effect that the Dancer's helmet... If you watch my Let's Play, you know I don't like the mask in the front here. If I can go get next to a wall, I think this will be better. Right there. The mask on the Dancer's helmet, I don't like that. Uh, but the, um, the veil that comes off of the back is aesthetically pleasing, and I'm all about my fashion souls. I don't really care how good the armor is, if it looks good. It, 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 the, the effectiveness of the armor is just a bonus, but I really do like this armor set. Uh, and I, I, like I said, I wish they would, um, they would implement something where it wouldn't be a huge bonus, but it'd be a little bit of a bonus where you uh, you get a bonus for wearing the full armor set. Um, I don't know, nothing huge, but just a little bit of synergy. Uh, or, you know, you could get synergy in other ways, like uh, using Black Knight armor with, like, uh, Silver Knight armor. Get a little bit of synergy there. You get the biggest synergy, though, by having, like, a full armor set. Uh, since they took out... Uh, upgrading your armor, I feel like they should have put something like that in to make your armor a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. Uh, doesn't mean it's right or wrong. And the rings that I'm running are Ring of Favor. Uh, you get, I guess I can tell you where you get this one if you didn't know. Uh, there's an area right past Pontiff, that area be right after Pontiff but before in Orlando. Uh, there's a hidden wall next to the staircase after you go past the two NPCs, the one with the Brigand Twin Spears. Uh, you go up into that building and there's a hidden wall. It's the second wall on your left. Like, there's two panels on the wall to your left. You go in there, you hit the second one, it'll be the one on the far the farthest back. It's a hidden wall down there. Those two are two Kraka dog wolf things. Uh, and that's where you get this. You gotta kill both of them and you get this ring. Uh, the life ring, um, it actually doesn't do a whole lot. It just boosts my health up to 1700 opposed to 1624 to 1737. So not the greatest thing, but it's not too bad. Um, usually I run the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring just to get more souls, but that's not really a thing. Now, other rings that you could run are the, the, the Karthus Milk Ring. I do like this, uh, I, I used it for a while and I just haven't f recently. Uh, this one, I like this one, the Pontiff's Right Eye. Uh, the left eye is also pretty good. You could use these in combo and it actually, I think, would stack really well. Uh, but that's that ring, and then we have the Estus ring because once you have your Estus plus 10, um, and your health as high as mine is, uh, the Estus ring really helps because it really only gives you about, I would say like a third without the Estus ring, and with the Estus ring it gives you about 60% full, or maybe it's like 40% and this buffs it up to like 60%, but it's really mostly effective when you have... Um, when you have plus 10, uh, that's when it's most effective. It helps you save Estus and all of that. And then finally, the Stamina Ring, the Chloranthi Ring. Uh, I really like the Chloranthi Ring, especially in this game, uh, especially with Katanas on a dex build, because you're going to be doing a lot of heavy damage out, and then you're going to need to get your Stamina back quicker. Um, I, I guess that's the case with the uh, with great swords too because they use up more stamina. But I feel like with the great swords, um, you're not going as many quick strikes. Uh, you're not attacking as much. You're more biding your time for good attacks with a great sword uh, or a heavy weapon. I guess I should say heavy weapon. When with um, katanas and quick strike weapons like straight swords and stuff like that, you're trying to get in damage as fast and. Uh, as much hits in as possible. Uh, you're not really biding your time waiting for the most opportune time to attack. You're more just um, you're more just trying to get any hits you can in. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I don't even know if I'm correct about like half of this stuff. But 
that is going to do it for this video, guys. This is the first build video. It's actually a little bit harder to do build videos because usually my builds are usually all PvE because I don't PvP that much. Like, I just don't, I don't know. I'm not good at it, and it's really not. I just like playing through the game on Dark Souls. Um, I don't really, I don't know. It's not that I don't like PvP. It's just kind of that I suck, and then I just more enjoy playing through the game and co-oping and helping people more than PvP. I don't know. I don't know. There are people like that, but I think I'm kind of in the vast minority. Um, I don't know. Maybe not the vast minority, but a minority. Uh, but that is going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this build. Um, the, I guess I didn't really go over my attributes. Let me do that really quick. We got 40 Vigor and 40 Endurance. I chose 40 just as a stopping point. Um, probably more optimally go to 50 and stop there i think the soft calf is 20 and the hard cap is like 35 or 30 um because i'm only getting like 13 extra health every time i level that up so it's not exactly worth it 10 attunement allows me to put one spell on uh 15 vitality is enough to use what i want to the equipment that i want to oops the equipment that i want to use let me get over here this equipment it's enough vitality to let me fast roll um the strength at 24, that's so I can do the Artorias of the Abyss cosplay playthrough because I need 24 strength to one hand his sword. Uh, Dex, 30 for the katanas. Um, you don't need 30, you only need like 18, but I bumped Dex up to 30. Intelligence is at 10 just cause, because I don't. I just have it at 10. And then Faith is at 12 so I can use my Heal Miracle. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode or this uh, build video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in my next uh, video. Peace out.